The U.S. election is well underway, and it actually the, the race is starting to take a little bit of shape. We now know that the uh, Republican and the uh, Democratic candidates, we know who the likely frontrunners are. We know men like Fred Thompson and Rudy Giuliani have officially dropped out of the race, and it's looking very, very exciting. Uh, it's going to be a good race to see down to the wire. Who is going to, who are going to be the two main candidates who are going to square off uh, to win the uh, seat in the Oval Office uh, this November? Uh, but as you're watching the election and you've been a fan of politics at all and, and have any kind of knowledge in that area, you'll notice something is missing. That something is Ross Perot. That's right. There is no Ross Perot in the 2008 election. In fact, there's no independent candidate right now at all. Uh, there is some thought that some of the uh, independents or some of the Democratic or uh, Republican candidates who do not win the nomination may run as independents. But there is no independent candidate per se running in this election. And I have to ask, why is that? Where are the, uh, well, straight up, where are these uh, uh, independent candidates that are supposed to keep these Republican Democrats in line? Uh, Ross Perot was the man. Uh, he made sure things got done and uh, did a very good job doing that. But unfortunately, he does not seem to exist anymore, uh, which is very sad because, as we all know, uh, we need independent candidates to run in our elections. Now, unfortunately, that's not been the case. And uh, for some reason, no, no independent candidates are even on the horizon. But we know about one, don't we? Some of the cool news for the past several months has been profiling independent candidate um, Don Allen, who also happens to be a veterinarian that has his eyes on the Oval Office as well. Now, for some reason, the mainstream media is not focusing on any independent candidate, I couldn't even tell you why that is, but apparently they're being completely ignored. Uh, if there are independent candidates running in this election, I don't know who they are. And that's solely the fault of uh, the uh, unfortunate media, who once again is missing the boat by not uh, getting us an interesting story. Now, I don't know why that is. It just seems to be how things are. But tonight, folks, we are going to be joined live in studio by an independent candidate who is running in the election and assures me we can expect to see uh, him sitting in the Oval Office this November. Uh, so we're going to check in with him and find out where are all, where's Ross Perot? Unreal. Don, are you there? Called cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the area code and number. See? Sir, dial 411 for directory this, assistance. This is the election right here. You have uh, you dialed the number that cannot be completed as dialed. Cannot be completed as dialed. See? Check the area. This is how hard it is to get an independent candidate on the phone because there's been no coverage of them whatsoever. Let's try this again. I apologize. This is, uh. That should probably work a little better this time. I apologize. I have a failure as a phone person. Let me just pretend that didn't happen. We're calling Don Allen, independent candidate, presidential candidate, running in this year's U.S. election. Hi, Fred. Hey, Don. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good, thanks. Did you like the uh, results of the Super Bowl? <laughs> yeah, I did. It was good. I was, I was really, uh, I was rooting for both teams. You were rooting for both teams. Yeah, you know, I like, I like them both. Doesn't that seem a bit unfair? Almost like cheating. <laughs> well, it's being, I guess, uh, 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 political. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess there is that. I guess there I is that, of, sir. I was kind of rooting there for the uh, Patriots for a while, but when New York won, I thought that's good. They huh. deserved it. Well, I guess that is true. Uh, it, it, I, I actually won twenty dollars because of this. So oh, I'm, good for you. I'm actually pretty happy right now. Hey, that's worth a lot more now, too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah a little bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, Don, I wanted to ask you a question. I've been kind of watching these U.S. elections like everyone else has. And, uh, well, I guess before I get too involved, I should ask you how your campaign is going. Well, last week, uh, it was a funny thing. I'm, uh, I'm serving my two weeks of annual tour with the Air Force Reserve right now down at uh, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. And um, we work from 7.30 in the morning till 4.30 in the afternoon. So when I was driving back to my room from, uh, from the hospital that I work at, um, I was listening to Tom Sullivan on Fox Radio. And... Um, I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> and they were uh, talking about, you know, the Republicans and the Democrats and the Republicans and the Democrats. So I, I thought, well, I'm going to call them and say, you know, ask them why they don't talk about 
you know, the independent. So I, you know, I, the producer answered the phone, and, and I said, um, he asked my name, and I, I said, uh, my question is, you know, why don't any of the national news programs uh, talk about uh, anything but the um, Republican and Democratic parties? He said, there's independents out there, too. And he said, well, like who? And I said, well, like myself. So he said, hold on. And I waited about 15 minutes, and I got on the program. So um, Tom Sullivan was very nice. Uh, he asked me a lot of questions, a lot of good questions, a lot of good answers. Uh, he said he got on my website, too, as we were talking, and looked it over, looked at some of the pictures, read a little bit. And he said he would vote for me and uh, gave everybody my, my website to check out. Uh, within the next 24 hours, I had over 20,000 hits wow. on, on my campaign site. And wow. then um, Friday, just the uh, day before yesterday, I'm coming back from work again and listening to it. And uh, he was talking about somebody that had written a story about um, uh, the servicemen. There's a, a big rise in suicides among uh, the military right now. Yes. Was supposedly it's the highest it's ever been. So Tom Sullivan said, I, I just want to put this into perspective for people so that they don't think that this is, you know, the suicide rate in the military is outlandish. He said um, the number one um, profession uh, for suicides, and he says if Donald K. Allen is out there listening, he might be surprised. He says it's veterinarians. And number two was uh, pharmacists. Number three was dentists. Number four was farmers. And number five was uh, forestry workers. Really? Uh, but he was just saying, you know, in the top ten uh, professions uh, of uh, suicide rates, because the military isn't even in the top ten. So it's not like... You know, this is a real uh, unusual or bad thing, but it's just it's always a bad thing, of course. But um, yes, there is an increase in in uh, suicides in the military, and it's for a variety of reasons. It's a it's a tough profession, let's face it. But who would have thought that veterinary medicine would be a tough profession? Well, uh, there you go. I mean, uh, I didn't know that either. That's kind of surprising to me. But uh, he said it was kind of funny because those guys get to play with puppies and kittens all day. <laughs> Well, that's true. That's true. I I, I can't explain that either, but uh, it's an interesting stat. Veterinarians, apparently your profession, are responsible for some of the highest suicide rates. That's uh, that's pretty that's surprising. High. Dentists have always been up there high. They've always been like in the top three. And I could never figure that out. But I guess part of it is having to run a business. You know, because when you're uh, a solo practitioner, even if you're in a, in a uh, group, uh, it's not just taking care of the animals, but you have to run the business. Too, that's, that's true. Uh, I, I would imagine uh, that would make anyone stress out a little bit. Uh, but well done, well done. You got on Fox Radio. Uh, hey, I mean, uh, it's not maybe the best way to get no noticed, but hey, it's something, right? And uh, every little bit helps right now. Absolutely. So I'm, I was really pleased to see that um, the number of hits go way up on my campaign site. And I answer each and every one that does... Uh, connect with me. You know, there's a little uh, box on there that says, I want to join your team. So whenever anyone uh, goes through that little box and sends it off to me, I always answer them and, um, you know, ask them. I appreciate, I say I appreciate your support. We talk about the, um, the subject that they're most interested in. And it's, uh, it's strange. I keep uh, tabs on all these and national security is three to one above all the other topics on that, uh, including health care and taxes mm -hmm. and and immigration, everything else. Three to one above everything else is national security. So um, I think that tells us one thing is that uh, the people want us to secure our country first. And of course, that does include um, you know, border security. So time will tell. We'll see what's going to happen here.